Bet on yourself. Because the world is fake and gay. Part 3. Although the world is fake and gay, employment is necessary, unless you operate your own business. Overtime is one strategy for funding a business or for long-term buy and hold investments. Side hustles could be a viable option if you have people bugging you to do something for them and or if you have the resources lying around. You do the heavy lifting for your customers and your employers. Have no reservations about this. POTUS. 45 did the heavy lifting for the weak-willed and ungrateful leadership of the Republican Party. You have to keep a percentage of the money you earn or you'll remain a rat in a cage, a hamster in a wheel, forever. Sitting around waiting on the government to fix things is a piss-poor strategy. Sure, we did get a squiggly light bulb from a $50 billion expenditure, and we did get a few good pieces of legislation from the 2020 riots. But generally, don't wait on the government. $50 billion for a squiggly light bulb? Burning cities for a few benefits? Stash cash regardless of anything you hear. Buy the lows and sell the highs. Sign up everyone you can for your stock and crypto brokerages. Hold the investments you buy for the long haul. If you believe in the prospects of the company, fund, or coin, then hold on. If you're smart and you have conviction in your investment, hold on. If you're working overtime and or pursuing side hustles, you should be okay financially. If you're not living beyond your means or being ripped off by financial predators, don't sell yourself short. If you have toxic people in your support network, you must cut them off. Don't let their sewage affect you or your thinking. What I mean is, don't give your Juarez away for free if you can sell them. You can have a little speculative money if you think the company you're invested in will succeed. Don't let toxic people in your head. There are marketers that shake people out of solid investments all the time. Don't fall prey to them. There are mafia gangsters who, if they see you stacking Satoshis, might try to get you to blow your wad or screw things up so you're balanced out and equal to everyone else. Be very wary. If you crank out awesome content, don't become a mind slave. Legit authorities who model themselves after mafia gangsters from movies are common, and they're not worth your time. There are influencers that used to advise conservatives to not go to law school, who now cry that there aren't enough conservative lawyers. People, influencers, marketers, and sales manager could use any convenient lie to get from A to B. You don't have to become a crusader. Just bear this in mind. Bet on yourself. Keep your monthly expenses low and pursue your thing. Yes, for your profit. Keep the shrieks of SJW and redacted influencer out of your mind. When you meet new friends who are willing to help you, ask for a little situational awareness. Help. Anti-fragility and Machiavellianism provides some situational awareness training. Before the Bush 43 administration, there was situational awareness and other assistance for young people. But after Bush 43, even before, the youth were sacrificed to the elite Democrats. LI, which stands for the Leadership Institute, was neglected before the 45 administration. Normies don't appreciate LI because normies are just hogging offices and are not visionaries. Feel free to think on that last one. People repeat that situational awareness is outdated and is not right for you, but it is. Unless you want to accept whatever the elites have in store for you. Lots of people are homeless. Plus, 40,000 homeless vets roam our streets with sissy local Republican reps declaring our homeless vets are Antifa. True story. One thing supportive people used to say is get in where you fit in. I'd listen to that if massive life changes just hit you. One source of strength could be the desire to leave a legacy. I'd conceal this desire as much as you conceal your retirement accounts or your Wi-Fi business. As I said, trolls will want your cash for who they want it for, not for who you choose to leave it to. Also, if you have kids, why aren't they homeschooled? There are many men in the West who are responsible for their kids but do not have the authority to raise them. Sometimes fathers can't visit separated kids but have to pay child support. This is an area where church and your local GOP really mess up. If your desire now is to bash singles or couples with no kids, please go back to what I just said. You may well be a living sacrifice to Moloch. I refuse to be. Am I saying I'm better than you? Deal with it, tough guy. How many men get divorced right after retirement? How many men get fired right before they get their pension? Bet on yourself because the world is fake and gay. Feel the need to stash cash, too. 
Don't be afraid to go deep in your field and learn everything you possibly can. Normies won't understand why. If you become among the best in your field, this indicates you'll earn a decent income. Regardless, continue to save and avoid bad debt. You can leave a legacy without apologizing for your success or by asking for permission. Don't give up your rights, especially your 2A right, because Gangstar will want to say you didn't build that. And some people will just want to plunder because they have no conception. In conclusion, operate where you're strong. Build on your strengths. Remain lean and nimble. Don't make bets you can't afford or understand. Remember, salespeople and public officials can lie. And last, there's a buck, or a book that says the first rule of politics is divide and conquer. But normies only watch TV.